This shows you the dedication that he has to his profession. He fell asleep watching Moonlighting. Yeah. While asleep, completely unconscious, because calling his name did not awaken him, we could tell he was unconscious. His hands on his thighs were moving to the beat of a rapid paced song. Steve was, Steve is the most technically skilled drummer I've ever been around. to call one take Weeby because we just go in there with a metronome and he'd be done. I've never seen that before or since. He's actually a, I think, a savant or something on the drums. He can play stuff um, just off of the cuff that people could never even, you know, would look at and think he'd spent, you know, years putting it together. <laughs> You know, I, I never was really focused in the work, so it was always like, go to work, think about music. It's just if you think of something so much, it eventually just creeps into every facet of your life. I, I'll, I'll, like, if I wake up with a song in my head, I'll just kind of hum it in my head the whole day through if I don't have a way of recording it. And then I'll, by the end of the day, I'll have it ingrained in my mind. So I tried to, um, I woke up and I just tried to put the notes on page. The rhythm, I have a rhythm notation here, and then this would be the first note. I had this in my head in the middle of the night. A lot of times I hear songs in my head at night loud, it seems like it's real. trying to get my album out for, it's been about four years working on it. Well, I ran into that uh, producer guy that was, it was like a dream come true. He was like, I'll help you record, I can engineer it, play, he could play guitar and do all the parts. And then of course, there's always some, some, you know, he had to be a screwball, it's like a nutcase. Steve wanted it so bad, he was willing to jeopardize almost everything for it. And he was manipulative. This guy manipulated Steve, because Steve's so kind. He's had personal problems with this and that, so he did, he, was, he did three songs in like two years of trying to get him to work. What is the main theme of most of your music? It's Christian, hopeful songs, yeah. Where do you think that's coming from? Just um, faith and then pass that faith on through song to others, encourage people. called We'll Meet Again. This is called Song for the World. And this one's called um, Saved. This one goes... This one's called Are You Ready? Now if I could sing, I would sing it, but you don't want to hear me sing it. 